everyone, it's me, Chaya. I'm back again, and today I have the best recipe ever to show you guys. We are making buttermilk fried chicken and waffles with sriracha maple syrup. This is comfort food at its best. I am so excited to show you guys how to do this. Let's get started. So you might be wondering, what's buttermilk? Buttermilk is essentially a soured milk. We made our own kosher version with soy milk and lemon juice, the soy milk curdles, and it's got acid in it, which breaks down protein, which in this case means juicier chicken. And that's why we're using buttermilk. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and make the brine. I'm pouring all of the kosher salt into the hot water and stirring that to let it fully dissolve. Right after that, I'm taking my honey. You can use your spoon to get all of it in, and then I'm gonna stir it around again just to get that fully dissolved into the hot water. I'm combining the buttermilk we just made with the brine. I'm stirring that together, and then I'm gonna add the chicken into the buttermilk brine. I'm gonna let the liquid cover the chicken and let that brine for around 12 hours in the fridge. Now that we've got the chicken brining in the fridge, it's time to go ahead and make the waffles. I'm starting off by combining all of my dry ingredients in a bowl. I've got all-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, and a little bit of fine sea salt. I'm taking my whisk and giving that a nice good mix just to get all of the ingredients properly combined. Next, I'm gonna be adding my liquid ingredients to the dries. I'm starting off with soy milk, real vanilla extract, don't ever use the fake stuff, and egg yolks for richness. I'm whisking that, make sure there are no lumps in the batter, and then I'm adding in a little bit of melted butter for richness and deliciousness. And now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. My favorite technique for fluffy waffles and pancakes is whipped egg whites. Whipped egg whites lend serious fluffiness, loft, and height to pancakes and waffles, and they work particularly well in this recipe. You wanna get them stiff, holding their peaks still a little bit jiggly on the spoon, and then simply fold them into the rest of the batter. Do it gently, be nice. You wanna make sure that you're not deflating any of the air that you just whipped into the eggs, but also take care to ensure that it's a pretty smooth batter. All right, heat that waffle maker up, scoop some of the batter in there, and let those babies cook. You're gonna wanna let them sit tight for a couple of minutes and only flip them when they're brown and able to handle flipping. Once you're at that level, you are golden. Waffles are coming up and they're gonna be so delicious. So I have my chicken that's been sitting in this buttermilk brine for at least 12 hours and I've taken it out of the fridge. Now it's ready to bread it. We have flour, I've got sumac, hot paprika, chili powder, baking powder. This helps the skin really crisp up and brown efficiently in the fryer. I have fresh thyme, black pepper, sea salt, and sweet paprika. I'm just gonna dump that all in here. And now we are going to bread the chicken. Don't be afraid to reach into this buttermilk with your fingers. You can use gloves if you need to, but I'm just reaching in. Okay, you don't want this, so leave that in the brine. You're just gonna take a piece of chicken and bread that. I'm giving it a light coating because guess what? This gets double breaded. Yes, you heard right. The more breading, the better. So here we are, moment of truth, it's time to fry the chicken. My oil is at 360 degrees right now. I'm going to put in three or four pieces of chicken at a time. Do this carefully, because it splatters. <laughs> you just want to make sure that it's between 360 to 375. If the oil temperature is too high, everything is going to get burnt on the outside and stay raw on the inside. And if it's too low, it'll just start soaking up oil. But when you have a candy thermometer, a deep fry thermometer like I do, and you have the temperature of the oil perfectly monitored, there's really nothing to worry about. Yes! This is exactly what you want it to look like. Nice, crispy, brown, golden, juicy. That's what I'm talking about. La 
last component of our recipe, sriracha maple bourbon butter. Let's get it. This is super simple. I'm dumping all of these ingredients into this little pot. We've got maple syrup. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Hot pepper flakes. Sriracha. I put that on everything. Bourbon. Sea salt. And some of this non-dairy malted butter. Just gonna stir that together. Together! <laughs> so pretty. So special. Let it bubble, and then we are going to have a bangin' sauce to drizzle over our chicken and waffles. This is like the best of both worlds, because people will put butter on, they'll put sriracha, they'll put maple syrup, and this is like everything together, and it just will give you every single flavor note that you want to hit. So we finally have all of our components for our delicious meal ready. We've got our buttermilk fried chicken, we have our waffles, we've got our sriracha maple bourbon butter. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, I'm ready to put this all together and try it. I don't know about you, but if you've come this far, I'm sure you are too. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to take a piece of chicken, put it on a waffle. <laughs> Careful, it's precious. This is precious cargo. You've, you've worked hard on this. Now we go drizzle happy. Look at this golden elixir. That is how you want to do it. This is perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, you need to make this fried chicken. You need to make it now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions about deep frying, about using buttermilk, about making your own, write them in the comments. Let us know. I am here for you. I will answer all your questions. Thanks so much for watching.